All right, everybody, I got a little bit of crazy news for you guys. Pro Bowl defensive end Yannick Ngakwe was just traded to the Baltimore Ravens per ESPN's Adam Schefter. This news came out just this morning, and I gotta say, I'm kind of a fan of the move. Ngakwe went from the Jacksonville Jaguars to the Minnesota Vikings and honestly didn't spend a ton of time there, and now he's finding his way to Baltimore, and I think it's a great move. First of all, please do subscribe if you enjoyed the video to make sure you don't miss any future uploads. It really helps us out and allows us to continue to make content content for you guys. Alrighty guys, so let's just get into the details of the trade. So the Minnesota Vikings get a 2021 third round pick and a 2020 conditional fifth round pick in the trade. And honestly, I think Minnesota lost this. Ngakwe only played in five games for the Vikings. And I think it's very important to point out that the Vikings have been struggling heavily this season. I mean, they're one in five. They're at the bottom of the NFC North. You know, if there's any time to just give away things, I mean, it might as well be right now, right? So the details of the trade is he's on a one year 12 million dollar deal and although i know that's not the craziest amount of money and is going to go to a team that is a super bowl contender and 100 is going to contribute to that defensive line that also hosts the big name of Calais campbell so like i just said and only played five games for the vikings which means that the vikings traded away a 2021 second round pick and a conditional fifth round pick to the jacksonville jaguars back on august 31st to acquire in and it's only been five games and he's already gone. He's in Baltimore now. So the Vikings almost broke even from moving to the second to the third round. And I just think, was it really worth it, Minnesota? I mean, Ngakwe was there for five games and it just wasn't a match made in heaven and he just needed to go somewhere else. I mean, what this really tells us is that the Vikings are just giving up on the season. I mean, at this point, when you're one in five, the bottom of your division, do you really have faith in your team to come back? Now, I'm not hating on the Vikings. My dad's a Vikings fan. You know, I always want to support the purple and gold, but it just does not look like this season is going to go well for them. And it's also important to note that the Ravens have attempted to get Ngakwe multiple times in the recent months per Adam Schefter as well. So I'm glad that the Ravens were able to finally acquire Ngakwe. However, it was at the detriment of the Vikings. And, you know, I kind of feel bad for them. But at the same time, you know, Ngakwe is going to be in a better place on a better defense to bulk up this defense in order to be contenders against, you know, the Chiefs and other teams that are going to be running for the AFC. So this trade shows us 100% that the Ravens are all in and I'm excited to see it. You know, I like this Ravens offense. I like this Ravens defense, but the addition of Ngakwe is just going to be crazy. Like I said, I brought his name up multiple times, but like Calias Campbell and Ngakwe on the same line, that's just dangerous. Like offenses around the league are going to have to fear those two because Ngakwe is arguably, in my opinion, one of the best pass rushers in the league that we see today. And it's just going to be a dangerous collaboration between those two. So I'm really excited to see that. And of course, you know, they're going to be meeting back up together and like you know they were already teammates before with the Jaguars and I mean they led the Jaguars to the AFC Championship in 2017. I know that seems completely false that statement because the Jaguars are just so far out of contention for anything like that nowadays but they did. Back in 2017 these two were really great and just helped that team make it there. And what's even crazier is Ngakwe is only 25 years old. This man is young, this man is able and he's able to make some amazing plays because of that. This is absolutely the perfect situation for Ngakwe because if you did not know this, Ngakwe actually grew up in Bowie, Maryland and attended the University of Maryland. So, I mean, he's coming back. He's going to be a hometown hero and he's going to show out for his state. So the most recent news that we have on this trade is that, you know, he's going to be flying to Baltimore to get tested for COVID before he officially joins the Ravens. And I mean, unfortunately, we're not going to get to see him suit up this weekend because the Ravens do have a bye, but he will, if everything goes right, make his debut in week eight against the Steelers. And I am just so stoked to watch Calias Campbell and Yannick Ngakwe play again on the same defensive line. This is just going to be awesome, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this trade. If you're a Vikings fan, I am so sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy. And if you want to stay up to date with Jackson and I, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We love interacting with you guys and appreciate all of the support.